Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I'm here to review Leap. And, honestly, this probably won't be a very long review. I didn't care for this movie very much, and it didn't get a whole lot of attention from people and kind of just skated in and kind of skating out of the box office and in theaters. This was directed by Eric Summer and Eric Warren. It's very generic and uninspired storytelling of a young woman who wants to be a ballerina. This feels so generic and cliched, it's just like blah, and I was really bored watching this movie. It has the kid pacing, so it, like it skates over things so quickly that it's just like you don't really get to hit any emotional impact to anything. And dealing with the tonal issues, there's very there are some heartfelt moments that really did hit me and I appreciated, but some of those just like got really dark out of nowhere. I'm like, holy crap! Am I watching the same movie? Who the hell wrote this kind of thing? And the animation is very blah and lacks fluidity. If you look at like the mouths of the characters, it's like it's very mechanical and doesn't feel very natural. And it's just not great CGI. In terms of the writing, it writer by committee. There's like four writers on this and it's generic convoluted story with a whole bunch of subplots and crap trying to be thrown in. And none of the characters feel really fleshed out. It's pretty bland. The dialogue's really heavy-handed and just ooh, cringe-worthy to listen to. And it's very surface level. It doesn't really deal with anything on a deep level. And the music is very blah. And the pop music feels so forced in this movie and doesn't feel right and really shouldn't be in this film with this time period and everything. The acting, Elle Fanning and Mel Brooks kind of stick out in this in terms of vocal cast and why the hell Dean DeHaan is in this movie and I wasn't a huge fan, it's just like, why? But, as I said, this is probably going to be a real short review. I'm going to say my it factor on this, my final thoughts on Leap, is that it's really bland and forgettable, but I didn't hate it. It's passable movie and that's the only reason this is not getting an F. But I'm going to give Leap a D.